Hi, this is Piyush Bhargava and this short video is about Gallium 68 Dota 8 PET CT. Before we look at some cases, let's start by reviewing some basic information about this study. So the name of the radio pharmaceutical is Gallium 68 Dota 8. The physical half-life of Gallium 68 is 68 minutes. The injected dose is 5 millicuries, which is injected IV. And the injection to imaging time is 1 hour. We acquire whole body images from top of the skull to mid thighs. The mechanism of uptake of this radiopharmaceutical is receptor binding. It binds to somatostatin receptor subtype 2, which are overexpressed on the surfaces of the neuroendocrine tumor cells. The indications for doing this PET CT include initial diagnosis and staging of neuroendocrine tumors, localization of unknown primary when patients present with metastatic disease, and before and after peptide receptor radionuclide therapy using lutetium 177 dotatate. Let's review the normal distribution of this tracer. On the left, we have a whole body MIP image. And on this image, we find that there is focal intense uptake in the pituitary. There is faint uptake in the nasal mucosa, symmetric uptake in the salivary glands and the thyroid, intense uptake in the spleen, moderate uptake in the liver, excretion of the radiopharmaceutical from the kidneys into the urinary bladder, focal uptake in the adrenals, and some bowel activity. Those are the areas of physiologic uptake of gallium 68 dotate. This patient also happens to have hiatal hernia that we see here, and also there is physiologic activity in the prostate. Compared with indium 111 octreotide, there is improved sensitivity, better image quality, lower radiation dose, and shorter imaging time with gallium 68 dotate. Flip flop phenomena refers to uptake of gallium-68 dotatate versus F18-FDG in neuroendocrine tumors. So dotatate uptake is proportional to receptor expression, which is also proportional to tumor differentiation. So well-differentiated tumors will have more receptors and will show more dotatate uptake. FDG uptake is proportional to metabolic activity, which is proportional to high-grade tumors. So as a tumor become high-grade or de-differentiated, they have more FDG uptake compared to dotatate uptake. Other tumors that show gallium-68 dotatate uptake include pheochromocytomas and paragangliomas, pulmonary carcinoids, and medullary thyroid cancers. Let's look at some cases. This patient presented with an enhancing tumor in the tate of the pancreas. A neuroendocrine tumor was suspected, and gallium-68 dotatate shown here showed focal uptake in that tumor with no evidence of metastatic disease, this patient underwent distal pancreatectomy, which showed an insulinoma. Next patient presented with an enhancing calcified mass on the right side of the abdomen. The gallium 68 dotatate PET CT showed the primary in the terminal ileum and some surrounding regional lymph nodes. This patient also underwent curative resection. Case number three. Let's review the whole body rotating image. There are multiple foci of increased uptake in both lobes of the liver consistent with metastatic disease. And the primary is seen here in the right lower quadrant in the region of the terminal ileum. On the CT, we see an enhancing mass with central hypodensity. This patient had metastatic ileal carcinoid. This patient was referred for peptide receptor radionuclide therapy with lutetium 177 octreotate. Case number four shows multiple foci in the liver consistent with bilobar metastases. There are two additional interesting findings here. Look at the head and neck region. We see uptake in the pituitary, but there are two additional foci of increased uptake. These are seen here in the frontal region bilaterally on the fused transaxial images and correspond to enhancing meningiomas on the MRI of the brain. There is also physiologic uptake in the prostate. The last case also shows a patient who presented with a mass in the, pan, uh, in the pancreas, seen here, an enhancing mass, so a neuroendocrine tumor was suspected, and gallium-68 dotatate PET-CT showed focal intense uptake. There was no evidence of metastatic disease, and this patient underwent a curative resection, which showed an insulinoma. Thanks for watching.